We recently published the results of a 15-year collaborative study between IARC and the NM Blochin National Medical Research Center of Oncology in Russia on whether quitting smoking was of benefit to patients diagnosed with lung cancer. For this study, we recruited more than 500 patients with non-small cell lung cancer who are current smokers and followed them closely for an average of seven years. After accounting for treatments and potential confounders, we found that patients who quit smoking survived an average of 22 months longer overall and without recurrence of their disease than those who continued smoking. Also, smoking cessation in this population cut the risk of death by one-third and lowered the risk of disease progression by 30%. What surprised us was that the protective effect of smoking cessation was evident among all subgroups of patients with lung cancer, including those with earlier and later stage tumors, a mild to moderate, and even heavy smokers. Also, the magnitude of the effect was impressive. Quitting smoking, which is potentially feasible for all patients and is available to all at a minimum cost, showed beneficial effects for patient survival that are comparable to those reported for the new and emerging therapeutics, which might not be accessible for all patients and require specialized settings. Every year, an estimated 1.8 million people die from lung cancer, and 80% of these deaths are attributable to smoking. There is strong evidence that quitting smoking in smokers can lower the risk of developing lung cancer. However, before this study, evidence was limited as to whether smokers who develop lung cancer could still benefit from smoking cessation after diagnosis. The available evidence in this regard originated from retrospective studies without repeated measurements or from few underpowered prospective studies with limited sample size and short follow-up time. Therefore, we were motivated to address this important gap in the literature. At the time of lung cancer diagnosis, patients may feel fatalistic and think it is too late and there is no point in quitting smoking as they have already been diagnosed with cancer. Also, evidence indicates that only a subset of patients with cancer who smoke are recommended to quit smoking by their physicians. These results strongly suggest that patients with lung cancer who smoke should be encouraged to stop smoking at any time and at each visit after diagnosis, regardless of their tumor stage, treatment status, or smoking intensity. These promising results emphasize the requirement for collaborative efforts at different levels of policymaking and healthcare settings to promote and implement smoking cessation programs in cancer care settings.